Unlocking the Power of Iron. Your secret weapon against hair loss, fatigue, and restless legs. You should always contact your doctor if you have any fatigue, hair loss or restless legs. Thinning Hair and Iron. Many women worry about their hair becoming thin. Some studies show that low iron levels might be connected to this issue. A number of studies have correlated low ferritin levels with hair loss. Hard studied 140 women with diffuse hair loss, and found 19% had iron deficiency without anemia. All patients with iron deficiency were treated with oral iron and in all patients hair loss ceased, and hair regrowth occurred. The target ferritin goal for treatment is greater than 40 micrograms per liter. Restless legs and iron. Some people have a problem called restless leg syndrome or RLS, where their legs feel weird and move a lot. Not having enough iron in your body can cause this problem. So, if someone goes to the doctor with restless legs, they should get a test to see if their ferritin levels are low. Iron deficiency is an important trigger for restless leg syndrome. All patients who present with RLS should see a doctor and get ferritin checked, an appropriate evaluation for the cause of iron deficiency if ferritin levels are low. Allen and colleagues published clinical practice guidelines for iron treatment of RLS. The guidelines conclude that ferric carboxymaltose 1000 mg is effective for treating moderate to severe RLS in those with serum ferritin less than 300 micrograms per liter and could be used as first-line therapy for RLS in adults, with oral iron 65 mg possibly effective in patients with ferritin levels less than 75 micrograms per liter. Fatigue and low iron. Some researchers did a special test with a group of women who were not sick with anemia, a condition where you don't have enough red blood cells. They gave some of these women iron treatment. They found that the women who got this iron treatment felt less tired. Verdon and colleagues conducted a randomized, double-blind placebo-controlled trial of iron treatment in non-anemic women. The women who received iron had a much greater reduction in fatigue score, compared with the women who did not. Only women with ferritin level less than 50 micrograms per liter benefited. Houston and colleagues performed a systematic review of the literature of iron supplementation for fatigue and concluded that iron should be considered for treatment of fatigue in non-anemic women. The key number for benefit was a ferritin level less than 50 micrograms per liter. Remember, see your doctor if you have fatigue, hair loss or restless legs. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to Diseases Simplified for more health tips and updates.